Welcome to the beta program of IronCAD 2009, The Next Generation. This demonstration will cover the new features that have been introduced in this version of IronCAD and will also explain why we call this The Next Generation. Let's begin by looking at the What's New documentation for IronCAD 2009. This can be found at www.ironcad.com slash product slash ironcad2009 slash ironcad.htm. We'll also post a link in the beta forum so that you can refer to it from within there. This What's New documentation will highlight all the major functionality that was introduced in this version. We won't cover all the features in this demonstration, but we'll highlight some of the key functionality and features that are introduced. Let's first discuss some of the major initiatives of IronCAD The Next Generation. One of the major initiatives is the ability to have a dual part mode of both innovative and structured parts within a single environment. In the past, we have always had a flexible design environment that we called the innovative part design, in which users would create geometry from sketches or drag and drop from catalogs, building a collection of features in a history tree. However, this history was not a rigid structure of the model, which allowed the user the ability to dynamically reorder the features and allowed the system the ability to automatically reorder the features based on the changes made to the geometry. It also did not require the user to build parametrics and constraints at every stage of the history which allows a user the ability to apply these when they were necessary to their specific design intent. In addition, the innovative part design allowed the user the ability to make dynamic changes at any stage of the design using direct face editing tools such as move face, match face, edit face radius, etc. This capability allowed IronCAD the ability to support both history and direct edits within a single part. This design environment created a productive environment in that the user has the ability to design the way they want, especially when radical changes may occur at any stage of the design. However, we found that there is a need for a structured part allowing a user to build a model following a specific design intent. In IronCAD The Next Generation, we have added the ability to create a true structured part that follows the creation order and automatically builds geometry relations during the design. This provides the user the ability to make changes that occur early in the design that will update the entire model based on the modifications. In addition, there is still the need for the ability to dynamically modify the geometry when unforeseen changes are necessary. The structure part design offers the ability to make the direct face modifications, however it becomes part of the history and it will maintain the original history of the design. This part design provides the user the ability to create a design based on a specific design intent while allowing for flexibility when unforeseen changes arise. Having both part design environments allows the user the ability to choose which design method is best for the particular task at hand, instead of having a system that forces a user down only one single approach. Later in the demonstration, we will highlight this dual part design mode to help you understand the power and flexibility introduced in the IronCAD Next Generation. Another major initiative is the inclusion of a new 2D design environment offering one of the most powerful annotation tools on the market today, embedded as a standard drafting environment within IronCAD. In addition to its familiar user interface, IronCAD's new 2D design environment offers all the functionality users have come to expect from some of the market-leading standalone design tools. This environment has a full capability of a standalone 2D application as well as the tools to detail 3D design data from the IronCAD application. Users can, can use the 2D environment to maintain and edit legacy DWG DXF data or even create new 2D designs using a familiar interface found in the industry. In addition, it includes a 3D interface available to allow users the ability to detail 3D designs using standard views, section views, detail views, and many others to lay out the design data while having full association to the 3D design data from IronCAD. Using the full capabilities of the 2D application, users can continue to annotate and create bills of material information that fully relate back to the 3D design data. This environment is included in addition to the existing IronCAD 2D environment to offer legacy capabilities as well as the new 2D detailing environment.
Next, let's take a look at IronCAD and see some of the new user interface improvements that have been made in IronCAD 2009. As you can see when you start off, you'll see a new document type at the bottom of the welcome menu called the CASA Draft Drawing Environment. This is the new 2D detailing environment that we discussed earlier. Let's go ahead and create a new scene and so we can show off some of the new interface improvements. When you start IronCAD 2009, the first thing you will notice is the new user interface. The IronCAD interface is based on the Microsoft Office Application Fluent Ribbon Bar Framework, which makes it easier for users to understand and get around in IronCAD. The Fluent interface makes it easier to find the powerful features by replacing menus and toolbars with a ribbon that organizes and presents capabilities in a way that corresponds more directly to how people work. The streamlined screen layout and dynamic result-oriented galleries enable users to spend more time focused on their work and less time trying to get the application to do what they want. Components of the Fluent Ribbon Bar interface include the Quick Access Starting Bar, the Ribbon Bars, and just the general interface. The Quick Access Toolbar is located at the top left corner of the IronCAD application. It is a way to allow the user to add and remove common commands that are used throughout the application. By clicking on the down arrow to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar, users can customize by adding and removing desired commands. The menu bar can be accessed by clicking on the Iron Cat icon in the upper left hand corner of the application. It allows access to the familiar commands like File, Edit, View, Create, and all the other commands that are used inside of IronCAD. The next major component of the new interface is the ribbon bars. As you see at the top, we have Feature, Sketch, Surface, and so forth at the top, which are tabs that contain various commands for the given type of command. For example, on the Feature ribbon, you have all the feature types like Extrude, Spin, Sweep, Loft, modification features such as blend, chamfer, draft, shell, and other features like transformation and direct face editing. This is just a common toolbar that contains all the aspects. As we click through the various tabs, you'll see that all the components are related to the various aspects of the ribbon. In addition to the ribbon bar UI, you'll notice at the bottom right hand corner of the IronCAD application, you'll see commands such as the camera commands, configurations, selection tools, all located for quick, convenient access anytime within the IronCAD application. At any time, you can right-click in the gray area of the ribbon bar to access existing commands like the menu bar or even toggle back to the toolbar user interface. This allows the user to set up the environment whichever is more convenient for them. As we switch between the user interface, you'll notice that we've updated our icons. They support a higher color resolution, allowing us to create icons that more communicate the action of the command. In this beta program, we have not set up the XML files to denote the actual layout for the toolbars, so please disregard this during the beta. In addition to the new icons in the toolbars and ribbon bars, you'll notice that we've also updated the icons in the scene browser to help better associate parts, assemblies, and features to the respective icon. This concludes the introduction of the IronCAD 2009 Next Generation Demonstration. We'll continue on our next demonstration 
on showing the structure design and also the new 2D drafting environment.